Alright lads, today we're going to be taking a look at the PT-16. I first want to mention that this isn't going to be a typical review video. In order to get this video out quickly so you guys can actually see what you're grinding for, I'm just going to do a little bit of an overview followed by some gameplay. But the PT-16 is a rank 6 battle rating 9.7 main battle tank located in the German tech tree. This is basically a prototype of the Leopard 2 and it's notable for featuring an auto loading system. The first 9 rounds you fire will reload in 4 seconds making this tank incredibly lethal. But rate of fire isn't everything, so what ammunition do we have? Well our stock crown is the DM-12. This is pretty mediocre but it's alright at this tier. We then have DM-13. Again this isn't bad, it's the same ammunition found on the Leopard L-44, the premium rank 5 German tank. And then finally we have DM-23, giving us over 400mm of penetration. It also has a very high muzzle velocity of 1640m per second. But well, the reason for this powerful ammunition is the gun, and being a Leopard 2, it is of course armed with the Rheinmetall 120mm L44 cannon. This has 9 degrees of gun depression and 20 degrees of gun elevation. The gun is stabilised in both the horizontal and vertical planes, and as I've already mentioned, does feature an auto loading system. If we take a quick look at the modifications, there are some things that are worth mentioning. First off, you'll see that we only have night vision, we do not have thermals in this tank. We then also have a rangefinder. Now in game this tank does have a laser rangefinder, but in the modifications it is just an, a bog standard rangefinder. In terms of mobility, this is a Leopard 2 variant, so it is of course very good. Seeing as this tank is a reward for the ongoing operation, the tank will come stock and it is not a premium. So you will have to grind this tank out. That means you're going to have a stock heater fest grind, which isn't going to be fun. I think I've given you enough information for the minute lads, let's jump into some gameplay. So first impressions, the tank is very fast, just like it's bigger Leopard Brothers. The mobility of this tank is unquestionable really. That guy was stupid for driving in front of me. I wonder why he's blaming me, he T-boned himself though. Is he going to smoke again? I wonder. So there is somebody literally to our left, you can see him shooting. There's no point pushing though, we just get a shot. I have got an ADATS or some sort of thing like that coming. Oh he yo load and died. We also have a helmet chopper coming in somewhere. A Sergeant York. I don't like that helicopter noise though. Can't hear it. Whew. Well, we survived that. I do not like those Carnet missiles, especially seeing as this tank has basically no armour. Could try and make a play here. It's probably pretty stupid. Yeah. God damn it. Those T-72 terms are so bloody powerful. You can see him there. Just don't have the gun depression. God damn it. God damn it. I don't know how I'm not dead. That guy must be absolutely blind. There's another guy over there. Someone just knocked a tree down. Oh shit. Damn. I don't know what that was. Oh, it's a bloody jet, isn't it? Pretty sure. Should ha Oh my god, what the shite is that? A helicopter. Of course it's a pissing helicopter. Turn the gun, turn the gun. We don't have the gun depression. Of course we don't. This is why people hate. How did that not hit? How did that not hit? How did that not kill him? Oh, come on, he must be going down. Did he go down? Uh 
Oof. That was pretty mean. M163. I think that guy... No, oh, we got the loader at least. Oof. We almost messed up. Okay. Well, spoke too soon. We did mess up. Oh, there's a nice little... Terms there. Oh, it wasn't. It was a T-72B. Oh. Well, didn't even know you can get through there. Apparently so. Oh. What? He got his cannon, boys. Is he going to J out in rage like I would? We got a T-64. There's another T-something. Oh. Wait. I think that was... Yeah, that was a lit... That was the M1A1 that died. There's still a T-Series tank somewhere. Oh, we got his... That was his uh, commander, that. Not his gunner. Hey, ricocheted. 410 mils. I can't see shit. Can you? Okay, he's dead. Kinda glad he died. Knowing my luck, if I pushed out there, I've got a shot. We do have... I don't know if that's a friendly shooting at him or not. So, whenever on a small... When you're, whenever you're on a small light map, map like this... Buddy, I can't speak. Ricochet again. What are these APFSDS rounds made of? Oof. Okay, so we did get the kill on the M1A1. But as I was saying before I was really interrupted by that fatty American, whenever you're on a small map like this, it's always the TATUs and the Leopards that win. Because you can just rush to the strong locations on the map. But they are winning, actually. Oh, for God's sake. You just shit shot me. Where the hell am I? Am I blind? Did you guys see that guy? Alright lads, to conclude, for a battery rating 9.7 this tank is incredibly good. It doesn't have any armour at all, either on the turret or on the hull, but you have incredibly good mobility. So as with pretty much all Leopard series, you should be using that mobility to keep you alive and not really your armour. Unless you're in a Leopard 2A5 or 2A6 but... In terms of firepower, the tank is very good. While the, the reload rate is impressive, that DM12 round isn't particularly great. While it does have pretty good penetration, 410 milli, the post-penetration damage is pretty bad. It's not got that long rod. This is pretty common from early APF SGS rounds. So you can't really criticise it too much. It is a battery rated 9.7 vehicle after all. And in the current matchmaker, you do see a lot of 10.0 games, but you very rarely see an up tier especially with the battery rate and increase last patch up to 11.0. So, should you grind this tank? I'd say it's worth it. While the tank will come stock and you will have to spade it, do remember that will take quite a long time to get this tank up to top performance. But if you can get this tank for free, or if it goes on sale for around 30 gaijin coins, I'd say it's well worth the investment. But apart from that lads, if you do want to see a full review of this tank, please let me know in the comments below. I go into a lot more depth and a lot more detail I guess. But thank you very much for watching lads and I'll see you in the next video.